Good morning and welcome to the Mike Show for Wednesday, August 26th, 2020. 66 degrees at 9.44 a.m. I am your host, Fak Kamal. I'm here with my Prince brother, co-star, roommate, friend, and companion, Max, who's pretty comfy. I'm getting a little comfier. We finished our morning prayers, readings, and coffee. Mikey's upstairs in bed, Sammy's in the living room under the table, on his little Betty by, and I have no idea where else he is. It's a cloudy, overcast kind of day. We're supposed to receive thunderstorms today. I was hoping it would rain first thing this morning. It would have been a good day to just lay in bed and hear rain falling on the roof. But we deal with what is, not what we wish. So, we'll do a quick recap from yesterday. We had an awesome ride at Norway Ridge on the fat bike. We rode the thing all the way out there. We biked for about three hours out there, going there and coming back, counting that time. Lots of chipmunks uh, running across the trail, and that was kind of cool. And it was just nice riding that bike out there. And honest to God, that thing, I've never, I've, I've mostly ridden my cross bike out at the ridge since I got it in 2015. And, you know, to, so to ride that big fatty out there with five inch wide tires, it was like, all I had to do was pedal and once in a while stand up and sit down and use some body English. The thing just rolled over everything. I didn't really have to work it. There wasn't much thinking involved, which is, you know, why I like riding the, the cross bike out there. It's very challenging to ride and maneuver and shifting a lot and using all my knowledge and experience of off-road riding to uh, make that bike go through all that loose sand and muck and tight corners and all that other stuff. But, you know, to be blunt <laughs> and to borrow some words from... Les Grossman from the movie Tropic Thunder, a nutless monkey could ride a fat bike out at Norway Ridge. And I rode every bit of single track, and I really enjoyed it. And when I got home, um, I fixed some lunch. What did we do, Maxie? We had corn on the cob, we had a salad, and we had, had a sandwich. And I hung around here a bit. Uh, regrouped, got some laundry done and stuff like that, and then we uh, hopped on the Kona, and I was going to go for a ride about a, around the Horn, the Hamilton uh, Nature Trail loop to come out behind the cement plant and go for a swim, but I got going out there and I just didn't have it in me, so I ended up just taking Hamilton Road to Wessel Road and riding through town and going up to Michikewis Park and then back to Blair Street, which I call E. coli Beach, and had a swim there and came home, hung out with the cats, we read, and uh, had a really nice fire. I cut up some firewood and had a nice fire. It was perfect maple. It was a branch I had found uh, coming home from Rockport the other day, and the wood was dried just perfectly. It wasn't punky. It wasn't too wet, it was just absolutely perfect for burning, and it, it smelled good, it gave off good heat, good light. So we had a nice fire last night, and I did not want to come in the house. Oh, <coughs> another wonder of yesterday, and there, there's really some trees that are really already starting to turn colors, some uh, maples and bold reds I've seen, and I know a month ago, or just about a month ago, I saw trees turning out at Rockport. The oak, the oak trees were turning. Mackie's washing up. Look at Mackie. Look at that Mackie washing up. Um, we cooked a chicken breast last night, too, and I'm going to make a sandwich spread out of that. I'm going to make a chicken salad and then make some gravy with the drippings. Anywho. One thing I just got to get out of me is uh, when I was riding down the beaches at Starlight Beach, 
there was some self-absorbed asshole. Got a dog on a leash in each hand, and he's on his phone, totally oblivious to everyone and everything around him, blocking the whole walkway. And when I see stuff like that and people like that, I just, I, I just wanted to get up and kick him in the ass. You know, it's like, you're not the center of the world, asshole. Think about some others. You're out in public, but, yeah. That's the way it is now. Maybe it always was that way. Maybe it's just more obvious now because there's more people on this planet. Our virus, our humanity, our hum uh, <laughs> we are spreading. We are a virus. And more and more, I can't believe how many uh, masks I see it. People just littering, whether it's in ditches, roadways, in town, out of town, doesn't matter where it is. We are pigs. We are pigs. Yes, we are. So, yeah. It's good for me to get out and enjoy it and experience nature and feel a part of that. Help me preserve what's left of my sanity. Hey, Mickey. Hey, Mickey. You sweet boy. Look at you. Look at him. Mexi. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, today, like I said, we're going to make some chicken breast. Uh, dice up a chicken breast and make a chicken salad with that for sandwiches. Just hang out here and have a relaxing day. I work from 2 till 6, and I really don't want to go to work. And it's i got to find another job. I've got to find myself another job. I'm getting sick of dealing with the public. I don't know what I want to do. I just do not know. So, at this point right now, we are going to pause, and maybe I'll think of something profound to say, and maybe I won't. Hey, welcome back. We're sitting in the living room now. Looks like Sammy is awake now. He just got a drinky. Hey, Sam, can you say hello? Can you say good morning? Sammy, can you say good morning? Look at that beautiful soul. Oh, look at that beautiful soul. And there's Mackie over there. So anyway, we're washing some dishes and getting ready to fire up the computer. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I already checked out a lot of stuff that I normally check out on the computer on my phone this morning. And uh, so, I don't know. Look at these sweethearts. So, as far as exercise today, a little yet light yoga and uh, some push-ups are on the agenda. I'm probably not going to do any biking. Probably going to drive to work. Uh, yeah. Look at these sweethearts. Look at these sweethearts. Mackie. Oh, Mackie. So, I've been into watching uh, Married with Children clips on YouTube. And I know this isn't po politically correct, and I don't care. But in one of them, a woman said, Does this dress make me look fat? And Al Bundy looked at her and said, No, the fat makes you look fat. But you can't say stuff like that anymore, you know? And people ask questions that, you know, they don't want the truth. And it reminded me of someone asking me about something, uh, not too long ago, and to me it's a, a core problem of what's wrong with society, humanity, whatever, is people are worried about what people think about them and base their, base their sense of self-worth on what others might be thinking instead of thinking uh, of themselves, you know, of having self-respect self-worth, self-love, etc. The key word there is self. And uh, it can't come from outside you. And you got to be strong enough to, you know, know that you're okay without others' approval. And something it's a tough discipline sometimes because our we are socially uh, educated to uh, 
act a certain way. We, what comes out of our mouth and our behavior are two different things, our beliefs and our values and whatnot for the most part, because most of the time what we do is based on hoping others will like us and what others think, not what we think of ourselves. So anyway, I guess that's all we got today. That's Sammy getting a drinky. So anyhow, have a wonderful Wednesday.